So Berghain has redesigned their website, which I'm very happy with because, you know, I'm a big uh, Berghain S-L-U-T. Um, so as you've seen here on the website, they usually every month have they commission an artist to design the flyer um, for all the artwork for the flyer that they kind of distribute in this club that you can actually pick up some old ones previous months. If I forgot where you have to go. I think it might be reception. No, sorry. I think it might be the cloak area. The cloakroom. There might be someone there. Or I forgot where it was. You pick up the flyers. And um, from previous months, you can collect them. I know a lot of people swap them online and stuff. I've seen them do that in a Berkheim group. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, so they always get someone to do a different one for the, for the month. And um, obviously, uh, this is something they've, they've kind of pushed out prominently on their website now due to redesign. But another part they've kind of included, which, again, we've not really seen them do too much, is they've really highlighted the shop. So I guess, you know, now it must mean that, you know, with the rising profile of the burger and the fact that it's been blown up and, you know, everyone knows it's one of the best clubs in the world and the selection process, blah, 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 blah. There's obviously a need for them in their way, in their, on their side as well, to kind of evolve with the times and try to integrate themselves with what's going on nowadays, but also not be too attached to it. So the social media thing, they don't really push out too much. They have an Instagram, but it's just, just to promote their nights and what they're doing. Um, they rarely, if ever, post any videos on there. I've, for the most part, I've seen them. I've seen them be very um, attentive on Instagram because I'm always kind of I check the uh, the bird kind of location on Instagram mostly every weekend to try and see if I can get any tune ideas from stuff people upload, videos and stuff or audio videos of because usually their camera is blocked out. But on some occasion when there's been a girl or a guy who's taken a selfie in a toilet and uploaded it onto Instagram. They're always really quick to kind of jump on there and say, hey, don't ruin the sanctity of our club. Delete that picture. People usually take them down pretty quickly. So they're, they're pretty in tune with what's going on online, but they just don't, you know, take part in it, which is great. But I'm also glad to see they're trying to um, generate some revenues of income that can kind of, so they don't have to sell out, sell themselves out too much. Because again, all this merch I've seen online on their website isn't available anywhere else apart from the Berghain store on the online shop for instance, instance i'm sure and hopefully you'll be able to buy this stuff in the club which would be quite cool if you actually because i've always wondered that why more djs don't do it, especially some of the bigger ones especially some people like i don't know like an immediate lens who kind of goes out of her way to kind of wear her own shirts and get people to design some merch for her when she's going on tour it would be quite cool because you know again i guess for the more sceney underground djs they would want to you know i'm sure Seth trucks would want to shoot himself in the face before he would ever sell merch behind a dj booth but if you're a melee lens or if you're peggy goo putting some t-shirts up in front of the dj before selling them afterwards might not be that big of a deal because people don't expect much from you in that regard right it's not like you're you know bastion of not selling out right they're quite commercially minded so i wouldn't see a reason not to do that so if you're a Bergheim, why wouldn't you sell these sh shirts and these jumpers and these scarves um in person at the burger themselves you generate some more income right every person buying one t-shirt that's like nearly 50 50 euros each person 50 euros more someone's bringing to a club not including the drinks they're going to buy at the bar which are always wear well priced but i like the redesign of the store of the website i think the program is a lot easier to kind of browse again the shop is really cool you've got releases that they're also punting on there but again i think the clothing will be a really cool way to kind of, and again, maybe the compilations too will be a great way to them to kind of, again, push it forward and have a way to kind of, you know, capitalize on the name of Burger without selling it out too much. Um, this shirt here with this sort of like stony feature, which I'm sure is actually the surface of Burger itself, phot photographed and then printed DGP-wise onto a T-shirt looks absolutely sick. I think it's probably my favorite bit of it. And it's got this sort of like raised uh, screen printing on the front, which looks really great. So really great quality. It looks like, again, from the pictures I'm just seeing on my screen, you got this amazing little jock strap here, which I'm sure will be popular as well. Uh, this is from Lab, the little, uh, the underground sort of like club to the right of Bergheim, I think, on the entrance, right? It's a little underground one that is mostly... Um, geared towards the gay crowd i'm pretty sure they don't have any straight nights on there or mixed nights for the most part you have to wear fetish wear as well to get into lab i'm pretty sure lab laboratory i've seen a couple of people so I've seen a couple of the staff members wearing the t-shirts as well when they're in and around the burger which is quite cool you got this again this little um turquoise and pink uh, t-shirt too that's really nice with a burger logo in the middle again that logo right in the middle like that on the on the on a great hoodie a black hoodie for the, for instance would look so great i'd be all over it hopefully they make more of those going forward they've got a jumper 
this that looks really nice. I like the jumper itself; it's cool. But I would also like to see that jumper put into a hoodie. That would look amazing. The scarf is really nice as well, actually. I like the scarf. The scarf. I think someone someone mentioned it in our comments that they purchased one recently. The scarf is great, isn't it? I like the scarf as well. Very football esque with the sort of like Burkheim logo around, and then sort of the sorry the Burkheim script going around the scarf and also the logo on each end of the scarf and it has the inverse colors on each side and then one of my favorite bits as well one of, an undercover piece i think you need to check out is this laboratory running uh top and bottom as well which i'm not sure why they have these things but again i'm all for it i'm all game so again check it out um bergen has redesigned their website um it looks great I love how they put all their releases out on there um, and I'm pretty sure it's going to be a great way for them to generate some extra income for one of the best clubs in the world. They definitely deserve it. Um, looking at the program, again, all the months are listed. I think they put up the listings for, I think February's up, March isn't up, is it? Nope. Got a couple stuff here for March, but February's up. I think this is the February that I want to go to, isn't it? The, sorry, the, the month that I want to go, I think it's February. I'm looking to go towards the end of the month, so <laughs> Sorry about that. So it will line in with payday and stuff. Um, looking down on list of on list of stuff. Obviously, they got the club night. The so the one that I'd probably want to go to is probably the Friday, the twenty eighth of February. Finest whiteies. They've got Jade Seattle backpack with Jane Fitz, of course, the UK legend, someone that you've probably have seen at the world unknown uh world unknown parties in london if you've been around Lena wilkins who's obviously someone that i rate very highly minus science and tasker i like i like those fridays when it's only the panorama bar open actually i quite like them it's quite fun i think that was the time when i saw motor city drum ensemble playing it's quite a cool time to go there of course it's the most busiest time to go it's when all the tourists come for the most part all the ogs usually tend to go to sunday but still i think it's a great occasion to go because i think for the most part people definitely go to bergheim for bergheim to hear the really hard techno in the main room but i quite like the panorama bar vibe i think it's quite relaxed it's quite chill and usually get some really fun people on there and of course on the saturday the main night the club night um they've got on bergheim they've got tin man live answer code request boris devious one uh, or, or devious one uh, dr rubenstein again one of my favorites muscle deep man nazir and neil and panorama bar they've got portable live they've got crombie david alkerman eris jew back there is jew and octa octa back to back is going to be so good uh paramise sean Wright, soundstream and tamil soma that's going to be an absolutely nutty one so again once i get everything sorted out i'm definitely going to go to that night i think that's that, that's definitely my um, mo when i go to bergheim next so i'm definitely looking forward to that so yeah check it out bergheim site has been redesigned it looks absolutely banging